Now this case, a simple case, but again there is relationship, but that relationship is with point 4. P of A1 is point 4, 2 P of A2 is point 4, that means P of A2 will be point 2, point 4 divided by 2 and P of A1 given A2 is also 0.4. This is the simplification of the information. P of A1 equals to 2 P of A2 equals to P of A1 given A2 equals to 0.4. So all these three are 0.4. So P of A1 0.4, 2 P of A2 equals to 0.4. So P of A2 is 0.4 divided by 2, so 0.2 and P of A1 given A2 is 0.4. Now you can find any of these four. Both A1 and A2 happen. Both A1 and A2 happen means this is case of calculation of probability of intersection. And to find out the probability of intersection, we have to use probability of, rather conditional probability of A1 given A2. Both A1 and a2 happen. That means P of A1 intersection A2. Now we know that P of A1 given A2 equals to P of A1 intersection A2 divided by P of A2. We have these two values. Point 0.4 equals to P of A1 intersection A2 divided by 0.2. That means P of A1 intersection A2 comes to 0.4 into 0.2. That means 0 0.08. Yes? We have to use this as the path. If you have answer of intersection, then only you can calculate second case. Only A2 happens. What do you mean by only A2? That means A2 happens, but A1 does not happen. So this is the case of probability of A1 complement intersection A2. What is the formula? P of A1 intersection A2 sorry, P of A2 P of A2 minus P of A1 intersection A2 Why? Consider the Venn diagram This is A1 this is A2 and this is A1 intersection A2. We want complement of A1. What is complement of A1? What is complement of A1? Not A1. Everything else. So remove A1. That means from A2 also we have to subtract probability of intersection. Now a, P of A2 is 0.2 and we just found P of A1 intersection A2 0 0.08. So ultimately the answer is 0 Number three, at least one. What is at least one? Union, yes. Probability of at least one of two. P of A1 union A2. And that means P of A1 plus P of A2 minus P of A1 intersection 
A2. What is P of A1? 0.4 plus P of A2 0.2 minus P of A1 intersection A2 0 0.08 answer is 0.52 at least one addition theorem and the last case neither of A1 and A2 happen what should be the sign neither of A1 and A2 that means this is case of probability of A1 complement intersection A2 complement neither A1 happens nor A2 happens that means not A1 and not A2 according to De Morgan's rule it is P of A1 union A2 all complement that means 1 minus P of A1 union A2 that means 1 minus 0 0.52 so ultimately the answer comes to 0 0.48